Hey guys, it's your girl Natalie, and don't mind all this because I'm living in the real world of my reality, and you know, I was cleaning. Okay, so don't mind all of this. <laughs> But today we have an unboxing, and I'm excited for this one because my birthday gift came early this month. I literally was like, seeing some video. Well, I didn't see, but I seen other people uploaded their videos, and I was like, darn, I'm not gonna get my box on time since they already got theirs. Because normally when that person gets their boxes on time, then mine's come late. But mine's came early this month. Happy birthday to me, bitch! All right, let me go and open this up. <sighs> All right, so this is the sneak peek. And the card is smaller this month. Maybe because last month was boxy looks. And we got some candy and... What? <laughs> we got some candy, some blood, some hen, some scissors. Blood, hands, candy, scissors. What is the theme though? Oh, candy shop. <laughs> candy shop. And then of course in the back it tells you all the lovely things. And my variation is 68. So let's get into this box, sweetheart. So I'm going to just say sorry for mispronouncing it because a lot of stuff that comes in this box I always mispronounce. So just a warning. So the first thing I see is this sponge gel. Spindel, Spindel. I'm not sure if I'm saying it wrong. And this is twenty dollars. She's a limited edition, literally. So we got a limited edition, and this one was a collab with Boxy Charm Force. And this is what she's looking like now. Ooh. Mm. Now I had got this. Prob. I got this before, and I don't think I've ever used it. Nor do I know what the heck I did with it, but I probably use this one. She smells good. I don't remember if the other one smelled good, but she smells really good. And I know the last time I wasn't happy to get this in my box, but the way she smells, I'm kind of like, mm, I like this one. And the fact that it's limited edition, it just makes me feel special. I'm crazy. <laughs> so the next thing I see is this Sol de Janeiro. Sol de Janeiro. It's a Brazilian Kiss Tinted Lip Butter. And she is, how much are you? Also $20. Hmm. She's also $20. Oh, this is so cute. Can y'all see that? My lighting is too bright. But it's like, say, Sol, Sol Janeiro. Let's see. Oh, okay. What color did I get? That's pretty. Let me see the color. What color did I get? Is it? So matted. She's so matted. She's so matted. But I don't think she's matted. She's like more glossier. So, but I think that's the color's name. So matted. So the next item I have is a Murad exfoliating cleanser. And you can use her two, three times a week. And she costs $40. I have so much face cleansers. But, you know never enough to have more especially when you play with makeup or you just like to cleanse your face a lot I should have hydrated my face it's early in the morning either I'm cleaning all right so the next thing I got is a what are you you're a grown mist moisturizer what the fuck are you I don't know what are you I am just here. I am judgy at first sight. And I'm allowed to be. It's my opinion. But it's like, what are you? She is concealed. I want to read more into this before I even open it. So she's a face um, lotion. And she's supposed to leave your face matted. I'm a little bit confused with this whole thing. Um, It's like metal or toothpaste wise. It's a little bit like... I don't know why. I've been using Sira, Sira, I'm not saying that anymore. Something else, it, I've been liking that on my skin. You know, sometimes I mistreat my skin. 
and the last oh wait let me tell you how much she calls she calls $69 I don't know how I feel like for $69 I'd rather have it in something else where it's not in those type of tubal things I don't know it's just weird looking I can't really tell you how I feel about this until I use this but once I do use this all you have to do is go on my makeup page and I'll review it there not anytime soon though just a warning and last but not least I have a beauty bakery breakfast in bed eyeshadow palette and oh my goodness I'm excited for it. Hopefully it looks different and not the same as every palette that I get. Oh, she purple. She purple. She purple. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, I might keep this palette. Now, she does remind me. Sorry, it looked like it's been swabbed over here. I don't know. But she does remind me of like my Druvia palette, which is like all purples and all that stuff that I have. But honestly, I like this one. It has a yawning, a forehead, a kiss, pajamas, French door, boot up in a view, messy hair, fresh face, cuddle cake, lazy baby. This is actually a pretty palette. It's really pretty. And she is. $38. Everything comes up to $187. And I'm going to rate my box because I just want to let you know how I really feel about this box. Now, how do I really feel about this box? I feel as though there was more cleaning. Yeah, cleaning, moisture, cleaning more than makeup. Yeah, she doesn't have a good smell. It's a cute. It's so hard to want lipsticks and all that stuff when you have to wear face mask all the time. It's just like I like literally put lip gloss on and then I'm like oh, after that I gotta put a face mask on to go to work. It's the worst. <laughs> so, what would I rate this box? Um. I can say I'm really happy to have the palette and the sponge, to be honest. Um, what I'm least happy for is the moisturizer. That's what I'm least happy for. Um, but I don't know if it's because it comes in a tube, but I don't know. I'm ha but I'm, I'm good with this box. Like normally if I don't like something, I give something out of my box away. But I might keep everything because... I don't know. I like it. I like the box. Just, I don't know how I feel. But I really like this. I feel like recreating this look. I don't know. Look. Alright. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And come back on my next one because I don't have an unboxing. But I do have a little haul. <laughs>